everyone. Long time no see. I've been busy um, working on a lot of projects uh, using Power Apps and Power Automate. So I have also upgraded my skills. So today I am going to show you uh, the workaround to update these add rows in a table in a macro enabled uh, Excel, SM Excel file. So you will know that it's, it's quite easy to add rows or manipulate um, Excel files using Power Automate. Uh, I'm talking about Power Automate Cloud version, so it's easy to um, edit the tables in the in the XLSX format. But then when you try to edit any tables in XLSM, uh, Power Automate doesn't allow you to select the macro enabled XLSM, XLSM file. So today I am going to show you how to do exactly that, that uh, using a workaround. Hello everyone, my name is Hao Zhong. I'm here to help you to use Office Work tools such as Excel and Power Automate. If you think my videos are helpful, please help me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you. So the first step is you have to use this get file metadata using path and then this file path you need to point to your onedrive macro enabled file x l s m um alternatively alternatively you can also use the you know dynamic path if you have used uh if you have pointed uh, your previous flow to that macro file then uh, you use get tables so location is one drive for business document li library is one drive file is the id from the get file metadata using path right this is very important um, then you can use uh, your other excel online um, function such as uh, update a row here so location, you pick OneDrive for business, document library, OneDrive, file, the ID, pick the ID, right, from the get file metadata using path, right, this is very important, so it's, it's a blue color, you see, blue color, that means it's a OneDrive uh, function, and then for the table, right, select the get tables ID. Right, so it's, you see it's in green color. All right, this is an Excel uh, online get tables, so it's green color. Um, once you do that, right, um, apply to each will automatically uh, uh, appear for you because uh, you might have uh, a few tables, all right, in uh, the get tables. Um, then what you do is, um, the key column, right? Uh, you, you just, uh, put your key column, which is normally your ID or row, uh, key value, put the number. And then the next step, which is very important is, uh, provide the item properties. So what you do is you put the uh, column, I think it's a column name, right? And then put in your variable that you want to put into the column uh, or row. Um, yeah, I hope this video has helped you. Please remember to subscribe and give this uh, video a like. Thank you so much, everyone. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.